computers power Macintosh training for researchers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and Chief Executive Officer, Apple Computer, Michael Spindler. Good morning to everyone here today in this room and to the thousands, tens of thousands connected via video link around the world and welcome to the future. The PowerPC chip, who cares? PowerPC is a risk technology and Pentium, for example, is a CISC technology. It really represents spending fewer transistors, but focusing them on making instructions go very, very fast. PowerPC is a very efficient use of a lot of transistors. And the PowerPC chip is a technology. Why do I care about technology? It represents a chance that comes along in the industry about once every 10 years. And that was a chance to deliver a whole new level of performance to the PC user. There's going to be a lot of people out there that buy it for the raw speed. Yeah, it makes my machine go faster as a supercharger. So what? See, the real point is that a user doesn't care about the technology in the machine. What they care about is getting the work done, having fun, having a good experience. What our customers want to do is be able to use the computer more as something that extends themselves and lets them get more done during their workday. The customer is going to do things a whole new way. I'd like it to show me dramatic visualization so I can truly understand what is happening. You're not going to be looking at dead documents anymore. You've been able to pick up an object in a catalog and rotate it and look at it. You'll be able to play a movie or a training film right in a document. What we're doing with our architecture is trying to make all of these new kinds of information, multimedia information, video, sound, uh, things like simulations, just an everyday part of life. For the first time, I can truly interact with a rich, perceptual experience. The Power Mac, what's it going to bring? The beginning of a new era in personal computing. The Rambo of personal computing. Or maybe it's the Ferrari. Maybe it's a Rambo in a Ferrari. Truth is, I don't know, but I know one thing. I can hardly wait. Hello, reseller team. I'm Steve Bannerman, product line manager in Apple USA. Soon after the introduction of the Power Macintosh, we were pleased and proud to find ourselves with one of the hottest product lines in the business. Customers quickly responded to the exceptional performance to the cross-platform compatibility, to the rich set of software solutions, and to the aggressive pricing of these breakthrough risk-based products, which are transforming the personal computer industry. In fact, only 10 months after introduction, we shipped our one millionth unit, a full two months ahead of schedule. This is a tremendous growth opportunity for Apple and for our resellers, but clearly our success in the marketplace depends on you. No matter what we build, we live and die by your success with the customer. So I would like to thank you in advance for the time you're giving us to learn more about Apple Power Macintosh products and customer solutions. Our goal is simply to give you the tools you need to put Power Macs in the hands of your customers, to sell them wisely so they stay sold, and to explain to your customers clearly why, when they buy a Power Macintosh computer, they're buying the future of desktop computing. The key to the future is in the PowerPC RISC chip, a RISC-based microprocessor developed jointly by Apple, IBM, and Motorola. RISC is the acronym for Reduced Instruction Set Computing. RISC technology has been favored by scientists and engineers for some years because of its inherent capability for speed and number crunching. But until the PowerPC chip came along, RISC technology was simply too expensive to put on a desktop computer. Now, with a new design in the PowerPC chip, RISC technology has become affordable for everyone. Of course, many people still believe that Intel's Pentium chip is the ultimate microprocessor. And for a short time, that may have been true. The Pentium chip was certainly one of the fastest and the best of its day. But its day is nearing an end. Because the Pentium chip is based on a two-decade-old technology called CISC, or Complex Instruction Set Computing. 
and its performance is leveling off as Intel pushes the inherent limits of the design. That's why the industry is moving over to the RISC architecture and why Apple is moving with it. The Power Macintosh is the first Apple product to include RISC architecture, but before long the entire Macintosh product line will include the PowerPC chip. And since the PowerPC chip is at the beginning of its development cycle, customers who buy Macintosh products today can expect years of growth ahead without disruption. How fast is a PowerPC on a Macintosh? Well, at introduction, the first of these new microprocessors were already faster than comparable Pentium chips across the line. Nine months later, they were speed bumped, resulting in a top-of-the-line Power Mac model faster than any Pentium-based PC ever made. Over the next couple of years, your customers will, can, will see speed and performance increases that until recently were almost unthinkable. You may be wondering how much more your customers will have to pay for this new, higher performance. Well, how about nothing? Do you think they'll appreciate getting more power and more performance for less money? If so, you can tell them what Michael Spindler, Apple's president and CEO, said on March 14, 1994. Welcome to the future with a breakthrough price performance standard from Apple Computer, the Power Macintosh. Power Macintosh is here. The future is better than you expected. Now let me give you a quick overview of our current Power Macintosh product line. This is the Power Mac 6100, the most affordable member of the Power Macintosh line. It's based on the original PowerPC 601 chip, but the current generation runs at the exceptional speed of 66 megahertz, a performance increase of up to 30% over previous 6100 models. It was built to hit price points that people thought Apple couldn't meet while offering such high performance. In fact, this CPU starts at about $1,700. The mid-range version is the 7100. It has greater expandability and performance and was designed as an ideal general purpose business computer. And the current Power Macintosh 7100 runs 40% faster than the original 7100. It has the speed, expandability, and networking required for desktop publishing, complex spreadsheets and databases, and it runs at 80 megahertz previously the top speed of our top-of-the-line 8100. The Power Macintosh 8100 is built for the power user and continues to set new Macintosh speed and performance standards. The current 8100 is 30% faster than the original model. The 8100 now runs at the breathtaking speeds of either 100 or 110 megahertz. Power Macintosh 8100s feature more storage and more expandability than our other models and are built for customers who need the highest level of performance for design or publishing, for engineering or scientific analysis, or for multimedia authoring. And in AV configurations, your customers also get advanced video capabilities. And finally, Apple has a breakthrough solution for those customers that like what the Power Macintosh has to offer, but also need to run DOS and Windows applications on a regular basis. It's the Power Macintosh 6100 DOS Compatible. The 6100 DOS Compatible gives your customers the best of both worlds. With a 66 MHz PowerPC processor and an Intel 486DX266 processor, each working independently and simultaneously. It's like having two computers in one. Taken together, these Power Macintosh computers serve a very broad range of customers with more power and more speed at less cost than ever before. So stay with us. We'll think you'll agree that Power Macintosh is an opportunity that can't be missed. In the rest of this video, you'll get a closer look at the competitive advantages built into every Power Macintosh, at how Power Macintosh performance stacks up against the competition, at the unique and outstanding compatibility features, and an in-depth explanation of the built-in technologies and features of the Power Macintosh product line. We're counting on you. Together, we can make the Power Macintosh the great success story of the 90s. The future. Where billion dollar space stations orbit high above the Earth. You'd rather have a risk powered Macintosh for under two grand, wouldn't you? Power Macintosh is here future is better than you expected. In this segment, 
we will overview some of the outstanding advantages of Power Macintosh computers, including RISC technology, the PowerPC microprocessor with results of independent performance tests, and the Macintosh operating system. You will see competitive demonstrations of the speed and performance of Power Macintosh computers. We'll also review AV and multimedia technologies, the range of applications, and the network connectivity of Power Macintosh products. If your customers are primarily interested in performance, one of the best Power Macintosh stories is the PowerPC RISC microprocessor. In the 1980s, the performance advantage of RISC technology made a lot of sense for higher performance systems such as workstations and servers. But for personal computers, it was simply too expensive because of the costs of the additional memory and advanced compilers needed to make it work efficiently. Today, because memory is much less expensive and advanced compilers are common, RISC technology has become affordable for mainstream personal computers. As a result, the industry is moving to RISC and Apple has moved out ahead with a PowerPC chip. A 1995 study by Ingram Laboratories, an independent testing firm, shows that PowerPC-equipped Power Macs outperform comparable Pentium-equipped PCs by 31 to 45 percent. To get the systems tested as close as possible to parity, all were configured by Ingram Labs with similar memory, factory-installed hard disks, and graphics adapters. Operating systems were System 7.5 on the Power Macintosh computers, an MS-DOS 6.2 with Windows 3.1 on the x86-based PC. Ingram used typical business application software in the test, including spreadsheet, word processor, integrated package, database, scientific, drawing, painting, page layout, business graphics, and CAD applications. Ingram Labs results showed that the Apple Power Macintosh 8100-110 with a 110 megahertz power PC processor was 45 percent faster overall than the fastest Pentium based PC tested. The Power Macintosh 8100-100 running at 100 megahertz was 39 percent faster overall than the 100 megahertz Pentium based system. The Power Macintosh 7180 running at 80 megahertz was 31 percent faster than a 90 megahertz Pentium based PC and 19% faster than the 100 megahertz Pentium based system. And the Power Macintosh 6166 outperformed the 66 megahertz Pentium based PC by 38%. On overall application level performance, the Power Macintosh computers Ingram tested showed a relatively small performance advantage in office applications, 1 to 9%, primarily because at the time of the study, several of the applications tested had not yet been optimized for the PowerPC chip. The Power Macintosh did show exceptionally strong performance on graphics and publishing applications. As a group, these applications were 89 to 94 percent faster on a Power Mac than on a similar clock speed Pentium-based PC. And scientific and engineering applications demonstrated the floating point processor superiority of the PowerPC chip in Power Macintosh computers with performance that exceeded Pentium-based PCs by as much as 49 percent. But RISC technology alone does not fully account for the wide disparity in performance between Power Macs and Pentium-based PCs. The efficiency and integration of the operating system is another critical factor. In Macintosh computers, the hardware and system software, including the graphical user interface, are built from the ground up to work together and the application software has to meet rigid integration standards. This is in contrast to the PC world where, for example, Microsoft makes one system software, DOS, and a separate graphical user interface, Windows, which is overlaid on top of DOS rather than integrated with it. The hardware is made by many different companies, and the application software developers have to try to compensate for inherent limitations in integration. With Macintosh, the higher level of integration results in greater efficiency, increased speed, and higher overall performance. This tremendous performance advantage of Macintosh products, and especially of the Power Macintosh line, is best illustrated with demonstrations of real applications.
This remarkable performance also makes Apple AV and multimedia technologies a hallmark of the Macintosh operating system even more powerful than before. Here are just some of the highlights. With Apple's plug-and-play Geoport Telecom Adapter Kit, your customers can make their Power Macintosh the focal point for personal and business telephonic communications. With Geoport, the Power Mac becomes a 14-4 baud send and receive fax machine, a 14-4 baud data modem for email and online services, a digital answering machine. Hi, this is Frank calling. Uh, there are going to be some last-minute changes to the specs of the X1000. And a high-quality speaker phone, Correct. fully duplexed for natural-sounding conversations. I just want to call and let you know that the X1000 ad looks fantastic. Thanks, Brian. It includes a screen-based telephone application for easy dialing and streamlined management of communications. And with additional third-party software, it can be integrated with existing databases to place and track contacts and telephone calls. In the future, your customers can expect further speed advances through software upgrades, as well as new adapter kits for still more flexible enterprise-level connections. Multimedia capabilities, integrating text, sound, graphics, and animation, have been a defining and differentiating factor of Macintosh computers from the beginning. Today, those capabilities are even more advanced. It's no wonder that Macintosh is the leading platform for multimedia development. For example, the built-in sound on a Power Macintosh is CD quality sound, 16-bit stereo input and output right out of the box at no additional cost to the customer because, unlike typical competitive systems, no additional hardware or software is needed. Power Macintosh customers also have built-in extensions for speech recognition, computer, read, text, for text-to-speech capabilities, Dear Mr. Jones, in regards to your initial order, the cost for each unit is $25, and for playing QuickTime movies and placing them into other documents. Power Macintosh computers are also ideal for supporting QuickTime VR technology, which enables companies to create 360-degree interactive environments. And they're an excellent choice for supporting low-cost video conferencing solutions. And uh, take a look at this first paragraph. I have a question about that 6.6 .6 million. Okay. Can you give me more detail as to what that figure actually was? Y yeah, let me type it in for you. That w with a CD-ROM drive, a Power Macintosh becomes a complete multimedia playback system. Customers can play standard music CDs, view photos on a Kodak Photo CD, and run the many multimedia titles developed for Macintosh computers. And because Macintosh hardware and software are so well integrated, a CD-ROM running on a Power Macintosh works right out of the box. Competitive systems still cannot make this claim. In fact, many CD-ROM titles are returned by DOS and Windows users because getting them to work is so difficult. In AV configurations, the Power Macintosh is a total multimedia creation device. Customers can record and edit video clips from VCRs and camcorders on the screen, add text, graphics, and animations, record and edit CD-quality stereo sound, and show the finished production on a television screen or print it to videotape. Today, multimedia is an accepted necessity for every business, enhancing sales presentations, marketing activities, and training and support needs. And with the Power Macintosh, it's easier, faster, and better than ever. Simply put, multimedia on a Macintosh is multimedia you can use. Hundreds of Macintosh applications have been redesigned or created to take advantage of the power and performance of the PowerPC microprocessor used in Apple Power Macintosh computers. And hundreds more of the most popular business applications are on the way. Of course, virtually every application ever developed for the Macintosh also runs on Power Macs. The result? Your customers can leverage their existing software investment, still be more productive than ever before, and build on the power of the Power Macintosh today and into the future. Like all Macintosh computers, it also fits easily into virtually any network environment. Every Power Macintosh comes supplied with everything your customer needs for local network connectivity, including built-in connections for both Apple LocalTalk and Ethernet networks. 
and support for Novell Netware IPX and TCP IP communications protocols for DOS and Windows environments are also part of the system. A benefit of networking with Apple Talk is its easy setup and maintenance. When Apple Talk is turned on, the system automatically configures itself as a node on the network. This is an exclusive feature that only Apple supports. No one else does it. And all network devices, such as printers and file servers, are accessible through the chooser. This is plug-and-play networking at its best, which is why Macintosh is often called the universal client. The future. Where people will work together across vast distances of space and time. Better make sure your computer has built-in networking. Our Macintosh is here, and the future is better than you expected. In this segment, we will review the cross-platform compatibility features built into every Macintosh and overview the dual platform capability of Power Macintosh 6100 computers. To many of today's customers, compatibility means being able to read both Macintosh files and DOS and Windows files on the same machine. The Power Macintosh does that and goes several steps beyond anything else available today. Because it's a Macintosh, a Power Mac includes an Apple SuperDrive floppy disk drive, a high-density 1.4 megabyte drive that can read, write, and format MS-DOS, Windows, OS2, and ProDOS disks, as well as Macintosh disks. This means that Power Macintosh customers can share disks with coworkers who use other systems, or they can bring home work done on other systems. They can then modify the file with a Macintosh program and save the work back to the original disk without any worry about compatibility between operating systems. But many customers today want more. They want to actually run DOS and Windows applications on their Macintosh. Soft Windows, an application made by Insignia Systems, gives them that capability and makes any Power Macintosh an even more valuable investment. As one example, Soft Windows allows your Power Mac customer to call up a corporate database running in Windows, view it in Windows, and make modifications in Windows. Or, for customers who prefer to work in the Macintosh environment, the file can be translated to a Macintosh application, modified, and then either updated to the Windows file or published with the Power Macintosh. Soft Windows is an excellent solution for customers who have occasional cross-platform needs. But for customers who need to run DOS and Windows applications on a regular basis, the solution is the Power Macintosh 6166 DOS compatible computer. The 6166 DOS compatible has a 486DX266 microprocessor, a PC on a board, as well as a PowerPC601 microprocessor inside the Power Mac. Because the 486 and the PowerPC chips work independently, customers can run Macintosh and DOS or Windows applications simultaneously cut and paste information between applications, and with a second display, even view both environments at once. And it supports networking and printing for both environments. An alternative solution for customers who are unsure about their future business needs is the Power Macintosh 6166 DOS compatibility card. This card turns a 6166 into a 6166 DOS compatible. You can assure your customers that with a Power Macintosh 6166, they can take advantage of Power Mac technology now and add the DOS compatibility card as a flexible option later on. Without a doubt, the Power Macintosh fits in and stands out as the most compatible personal computer available today. There are over a billion stars in the cosmos. A billion stars drifting through the infinite vastness of space. But there's only one computer that can run Windows, DOS, and Macintosh software. Power Macintosh is here. And the future is better than you expected.
In this segment, we will highlight the most important features of each of the current line of Power Macintosh computers. For additional information, please refer to your product brochures, price lists, and data sheets. The most affordable member of Apple's Power Macintosh line is the Power Macintosh 6166. Its microprocessor is a PowerPC 601. These chips were speed bumped in January of 1995, so that with a 66 megahertz clock speed, the current 6100s deliver performance that's up to 30% higher than previous models of the 6100. It has a built-in floating point math coprocessor, a 32K cache, and a 256K level 2 cache. Taken together, these features increase overall performance. Standard RAM is 8 megabytes, expandable to 72 megabytes for future growth, making this low-cost Power Macintosh computer an excellent long-term investment. Also standard are a 350 megabyte hard drive and an Apple SuperDrive. The system has one expansion slot, eight built-in ports for a wide range of peripherals, and a SCSI interface for adding up to six external plug-and-play peripherals. An internal CD-ROM drive is optional. It also comes with built-in support for speech recognition, for text-to-speech capabilities, and for Geoport telecommunications, which integrates computer and phone services. You may wish to refer to an earlier segment in this training to review the Geoport capabilities. For networking, both local talk and Ethernet ports are built in. Like all Power Macintosh computers, it includes a built-in serial port for an external modem, a monitor display port, and 16-bit stereo sound input and output. The 6166 also supports DOS and Windows applications when using Insignia's Soft Windows software or when the DOS compatibility card is installed. The optional AV card provides an easy connection to video cameras, recorders, and televisions for video capture and output. It also allows the 6166 to support a second simultaneous display so that your customers can increase their workspace with an extended image or a second image in up to 16.7 million colors. The Power Macintosh 6166 is an affordable gateway to Power Macintosh technology and the future of personal computing. But if your customers' needs also include instant and frequent access to the DOS and Windows environment, the Power Macintosh 6166 DOS-compatible computer should be the choice. The DOS-compatible has all the capabilities of the 6166, as well as dual microprocessors, a 66 MHz PowerPC 601 with a 32-bit data bus, and a 486 DX266 with a 32-bit data bus. MS-DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.1 are preloaded, in addition to the latest Macintosh operating system, System 7.5. It comes with 16 megabytes of RAM standard, which can be shared by the Power Macintosh and the DOS compatibility card and allocated via a software control panel. System memory is expandable to 72 megabytes for the Macintosh operating system and up to 32 megabytes for DOS and Windows environments. Adding RAM to the 486 card greatly improves DOS and Windows performance. Because the two microprocessors work independently, customers can run Macintosh and DOS or Windows applications and services simultaneously. They can share folders and disks and copy and paste information between environments even over a network. And the 6166 DOS compatible also has Macintosh PC Exchange built in, which among other things, lets your customers access DOS and Windows files while in the Mac environment, or automatically launch Macintosh applications when opening a DOS or Windows file. With built-in support for two displays, your customers can view both environments at once and documents from either environment can be printed directly to a cross-platform compatible printer, such as the Apple LaserWriter Select 360. Built-in audio capabilities include 16-bit stereo sound input and output for the Macintosh environment, and Sound Blaster 16-bit sound out support for the DOS and Windows environment. 
A PC game port is also standard for PC multimedia and entertainment applications. An internal CD-ROM drive for running Macintosh, DOS, or Windows titles is optional. The AV card is not an option because the slot is taken up by the second microprocessor. The Power Macintosh 6166 DOS compatible is a breakthrough product with a combination of power and compatibility which is unmatched in the personal computer marketplace. For still greater speed and more expansion options, your customers should be considering Power Macintosh 7100 models. The Power Macintosh 7180 and the Power Macintosh 7180 AV are the expandable mainstream members of the Power Macintosh family. Current models run at 80 megahertz, up to 40% faster than previous 7100 models. Both computers feature easy expandability with three new bus card slots. The 7180 has nine peripheral ports. The 7180 AV has 11. Like all Power Macintosh models, the 7100s have an integrated floating point processor, a 32K cache, and a 256K level 2 cache for increased performance, local talk and ethernet ports, and support for GeoPort for plug and play networking and communication, 16-bit stereo sound input and output ports, and support for both Apple and third-party displays in single or dual display format. Both models also support DOS and Windows applications using soft Windows software. The 7180 comes with 8 megabytes of RAM. The 7180 AV comes standard with 16 megabytes. Both are expandable to 136 megabytes. The internal hard disk is either 500 or 700 megabytes, depending on configuration. The AV model is the appropriate choice for the rapidly growing set of customers with video and multimedia needs. This model allows connection to a video camera, recorder, or television for video capture and output. The current top-of-the-line Power Macintosh computers are the 8100 models, which continue to set new Macintosh standards for speed and performance. In fact, the current generation offers performance increases of up to 30% over previous 8100 models and are the fastest personal computers you can buy. They are the Power Macintosh 8100-100, running at 100 megahertz, the 8100-100AV, a 100 megahertz model with advanced video capabilities, and the 8100-110, at 110 megahertz, the fastest Macintosh ever and the fastest personal computer on the market. These computers are built to meet today's most demanding requirements for power, speed, and expandability, typically those of customers in the fields of publishing, graphics, engineering, science, multimedia, and video. All three models have the power, compatibility, and networking characteristics featured across the entire Power Macintosh line such as the performance-enhancing floating-point processor, 32K cache, and 256K level 2 cache, the ability to run DOS and Windows applications using soft Windows software from Insignia Systems, local talk and Ethernet ports for plug-and-play networking, support for speech recognition for text-to-speech capabilities and for geoport telecommunications, 16-bit stereo sound input and output, and support for most Apple and third-party displays and 16.7 million colors on displays as large as 21 inches. Power Macintosh 8100 computers have either 8 or 16 megabytes of system memory, depending on configuration, which is expandable to 264 megabytes. And, depending on configuration, the internal hard drive is 700 megabytes, 1 gigabyte, or 2 gigabytes. Support is included for an additional 3.5-inch hard disk drive or removable media device and for a 5.25-inch half-height device, such as the optional internal CD-ROM. With all this and breathtaking speed, the 8100s have brought power and performance never before seen to personal computing. Here's a quick review of the Power Macintosh product line. The Power Macintosh 6166, running at 66 MHz, is an affordable gateway to PowerPC and Power Macintosh technology and the future of personal computing. The 6166 DOS compatible 
is Apple's most compatible personal computer with dual microprocessors, a PowerPC 601 running at 66 megahertz, and an independent 486DX266 chip for true cross-platform compatibility. The 7100 series offers a faster processor, two additional expansion ports, more memory expansion, support for larger monitors, and built-in support for a dual display. Both models run at 80 MHz, and the 7180AV adds advanced video capabilities. The 8100 series offers even faster processors, more internal storage capacity, more memory expansion, a dual SCSI bus, and higher color depth built-in. The 8100-100 and its companion 8100-100AV both run at 100 MHz, with the AV models including advanced video in and out. And the 110 MHz Power Macintosh 8100-110 is the fastest Macintosh personal computer ever, and the fastest personal computer on the market. Power Macintosh is here. The future is better than you expected. We are truly excited about the rapid acceptance and preference your customers have already shown for the Power Macintosh product line. And yet we're only at the beginning of its life cycle. During the next months and years, you'll see even more significant advances in power and personal productivity of the Power Macintosh. Thanks to you, we're well on our way. And with your help, we'll continue to revolutionize the personal computer marketplace. Welcome to the future. Good luck and good selling.